Hello, my name is Rampant Mystic and welcome back to Slay the Spire Daily. On today's well, daily, which is da the daily for January the 12th, characters are silent, modifiers are shiny, time dilation, and Midas. Again with the Midas. Oh well, let's begin. It's the silent with time dilation, so possible shift deck. Oh, right, right, we have shiny. I, I keep forgetting. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, well. Possible elite hunting? Well, we'll see what this one. Then possibly that one. We have Midas, so two shops are, you know, a good thing to do. Let's go. Oh, the glass cannon, but... but can we actually kill here? Possibly. Yeah, I think we can. Glass cannon. The thing is though, I shouldn't unload because unloading is gonna remove Storm of Steel. Hmm. How do I play this? Do I just glass cannon, storm of steel, thousand cuts? Yeah. I don't even glass cannon, do I? Uh glass glass knife, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't have the energy to play it. Oh, this is not gonna kill, really? Uh, one short. One short. One. Oh, it's not dead, and I should definitely bullet time. None of these, I suppose? Yeah, remove card. Gaining gold is not that important. Uh, doppelganger? It actually could prove useful. So could Corporate Explosion, I suppose. Uh, things like... Grand Finale, though. Those are rarely gonna be played, if, if ever. If ever I'm gonna get a chance to play it. Yeah, remove card. Next thing to get removed. Definitely not Bullet Time. Bullet Time is gonna be useful in this deck. Wraith form in all likelihood. I'm thinking of Wraith form because... I don't like it. I really don't. I mean, everything else is in all likelihood... In all likelihood it does have a chance to be played. Nightmare is gonna be rarely played. Oh, we got Wraith form. Do I have it? No, I do not have a drone. So, bullet time. We are gonna burst. We're gonna burst the uh, Alchemize because n <laughs> bursting Phantasmal Killer, there's not much of a point in doing that. And we're not gonna play... Actually, we are gonna play Wraith Form. Yeah, there's no point in taking the damage. And next turn, this should be dead. Yeah, it is. Should pick up a blade down, shouldn't I? Yeah. I'm thinking Chevron. I, I really am. I really, really am. The thing is though, I cannot smith at rest side, so an unupgraded blade dance is uh, it's meh. I'm gonna pick up one up though. So we just wasted a lot of gold, so I cannot buy anything here. Uh, meat on the bone would have been really nice. Or Gideon Gideon would have been insane, but I actually don't think we would have had the money to buy Gideon. So here I'm actually gonna card remove. Corpse Explosion is the next thing to go. I mean, as useful as it is in AoA, it's... It's hard to play, it'll take a lot of time as well. I really wanna burst something. But I, I can burst and lays for four? But a thousand cuts might be better. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm playing uh, a thousand cuts last night. And yeah, get them lays out because we don't want to draw it. We're never gonna play it again. Okay. So, uh, I should definitely be adrenaline here, shouldn't I? After image. And venom is actually not bad, but I z but it's too cost that I do want to play die 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 and unload. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, 
I mean, it's the best I can do versus the gremlin knob. Yeah, it's dead. Phantasmal. No unload. First glass, then unload. Bottled flame for a die, die, die. Count me in. Might actually take a backflip. I mean, how many block cards do we have? None. We have after image. Yeah, after image is the only defensive card we have. So I'm, I'm definitely going toward the, towards the rest. I mean, I cannot upgrade, but at the very least I can get something out of it, like HP. So, I should burst the drill in here. A after image. And I do want to play a thousand cuts, but I can't if I want to play glass knife and die die die. Okay, so it's die 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 first, then glass knife. That's it. Chemical X would be good. It would give me an incentive for keeping malaise and uh, doppelganger around. More phantasmal killers. None of these. Definitely resting here. Could use the HP. I'm gonna go for the other lead as well. Ice cream. Ice cream is really good. There goes the time dilation, which is really bad. So a thousand cuts here is a definite must. Like you have to play a thousand cuts. Yeah, just die, die, die. That's it. We have to kill as soon as we have to kill these as soon as possible. Because they do not have the time dilation debuff. That means they're not taking the extra damage. I mean, I just bullet time here. We burst alchemize after I play the thorns. Am I playing the thorns? No, I'm not playing the thorns. Wraith form because I might actually kill soon. I played the Storm of Steel there just for the extra one damage. It's gonna be useful. After image. Phantasmal definitely and Blade Dance. Should I split the Yeah, I should split the damage. I need to play four cards next turn. Yes. Burst Storm Steel will do it. They're dead. Ornamental fan, that's some block. It's not giving me any defensive cards. Would you look at that? I'm actually gonna go for the fight for the extra gold. Which might have actually been a bad idea. So, I do not have burst, so I'm just adrenaline. I was really hoping for blood time. I really was. Poison Potion is not going to be useful versus the uh, Hexaghost. Hmm, what's the plan here? I mean, I have a die, 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 and that's about it. And then do I just burst Alchemize? Or do I burst Malaise, the back one? Okay, no, I should Blade Dance first. That's something that must happen. Could have burst the Blade Dance. Now that I think about it, probably should have. I'm playing Alchemize. What else? Sh I'm playing to the tra trade and then it's die die die. It's just so we can increase the die 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 damage. And I mean, there's no point in playing Blaze. Now that I've seen what the boss is, I'm actually happy to take the damage. And I'm actually going to use Wraith Form here. Probably should have used a thousand cuts first. Gonna kill the slime. Because this one will in all likelihood be dead next to Yeah, it is. it is. Poison. Fire potion? No. Ancient potion could be useful next turn. None of these. Still not giving me defensive options. Oddly smooth stone. Ugh. Okay, so, I'm picking up Accuracy. 
picking up oddly smooth stone, and I wanted to pick up the glass knife, but a, bit, a little bit short in gold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna card remove. So tools of the trade in all likelihood will be the next to go, and it should. I don't have a mummified hand, so. I mean, I have no defensive cards, but yet I picked up the Oddly Smooth Stone. Uh, why, you may ask? Because it's a really good card. So I just Blade Dance on load here, don't I? That's the best I can do. Wait a minute, if I have no defensive options, how am I going to survive the Hexagos' first attack? Actually, regardless of what HP I have. How am I gonna survive the first attack? Footwork is not bad, but... Oh boy, this deck is gonna be interesting. Well, you know what, just pick it up. Single footwork is not gonna do that much wrong. Okay, so, after a mage, play dance, and then die, die, die. I have to hit... Die, die, die is gonna do around 18. Hopefully. Yep. Skill Potion might be more useful than the Ancient one. Oh boy. Sure, take an unload. That's gonna be the last offensive card I pick up. And watch as the Hexaghost kills me. So. I should Adrenaline first. That's what I was hoping for, I was hoping for bullet time. So, Phantasmal and Venom. Alchemize, Fairy in a Bottle could save me. And yeah, die, 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 and just on the. It's the best we can do. That was not a lot of damage, FYI, just say. Like... Oh, Malaise! Malaise! Oh, if only I had a burst. But yeah, Malaise here saves me. Like a bunch of trouble. I actually did not think of Malaise, honestly. But just so you know, perfecting this fight is gonna be really hard. Like, almost impossible. I'm actually gonna save the skill potion for when I have no defenses. Because it might actually give me a... <laughs> well, you never know, but it might actually give me a block card. And here we're just unloading. Unload is actually gonna discard the burn, so... What we want to do is, we want to... Do we want a Phantasmal? Yeah, we do. So we... Phantasmal killer and we just unload. There's the bullet time that I wanted. So footwork, burst on nothing. Oh yeah, it's dead. Okay, we actually managed to perfect the boss. I'm very surprised. And the power potion is probably better than a skill potion. Second bullet time? Could be useful, it's a 20 card deck by now, and then I'm just gonna keep adding cards to it. It can no longer gain gold. Yeah, that, that's uh, not happening. Uh, take a black star. <laughs> yeah, then <laughs> the ectoplasm with Midas. No, 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 no. That's like a challenge in and of itself. So, we're actually gonna want to take probably the shop, or not, we can take this one, but that means a single elite. And I can take two elites if I don't take a shop. We'll see, after this elite we'll see. Actually no, I can take this shop, then take both the elites. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna take the one question mark. Okay, so. I don't need to burst Alchemize. Wraith form is not gonna do much, but after image is gonna do a little bit. So after image. I just alchemize, don't I? Yeah, I use the part potion that I alchemize. Take the Invitum, why not? Alchemize? Because I wanna increase die die die's damage. It's not gonna do much, but it is gonna do something. And that's the best block we can uh, get. 
Probably should have just burst that Storm of Steel here. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Just saying, not a single bullet time. Thousand Cuts is a must here. Just unload glass, glass knife, don't I? Yeah. I could malaise for five block essentially, but I only need a single point of malaise. Yeah, well, that's the best I can do. Hmm. Oh, well, there's a bullet time. Sure, you do it. Accuracy. I'm not unloading yet. I'm actually gonna use this. Okay, so this one's gonna die next turn in all likelihood. So I'm actually gonna bring... Which one am I bringing down? How much is this? This is 11, so I can actually kill the back one and leave this one to die next turn. Yep. That solves the problems. That solves the burn issues. And yeah, sure, play these cards. Energy Potion could actually be useful. Probably more useful than the Ancient Potion. More Blade Dances? Or Crippling Cloud? At this point, I don't know what this deck wants to be. Uh, but neither do you, neither do I, so... Blade Dance? Yeah, sure, I do have an accuracy, don't I? Yeah, I do. Oh, there's a shop. Okay, Specimen Jar is not bad, and I might actually pick it up. I could card remove as well. What am I removing, though? I'm actually gonna keep in Venom. That's why I picked up the Specimen Jar, if you were wondering. Because of all the bullet times, I'm gonna play it eventually. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this gold. I'm actually gonna skip this shop now. Oh boy. So, definitely adrenaline. More time. And what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna play Doppelganger for a bit of energy. Alchemize. Smoke Bomb is not bad, could come in useful. Probably should have played the after image first, that was a mistake on my part. So for now, I'm just playing Die Die Die. For not a lot of damage. <laughs> two block. Two block. Just just two. It's just two block. There's another bullet time. So, ooh, that's a lot of extra energy. So I should burst something. But first I play a thousand cuts. Then I play bullet time. Burst Blade Dance. More Blade Dance. Nope, oh, nope. Don't unload yet. I'm pretty sure they're good, both gonna be dead by the end of this, so I'm not actually gonna bother Wraith Forming. Acrobatics could be nice. I don't have extra energy, but I do have Ice Cream, so... Actually, because I have Ice Cream, uh, Doppelganger now is not as useful. Finisher is in a shift deck, but uh, this is not a pure shift deck, and that's probably all the Blade Dance I'm gonna pick up. Am I going to the shop? No. Still probably should have. So play the after image, then play, play the adrenaline. And blood time. Thousand cuts. Fairy and a bottle goes. Alchemy potion gives me a speed potion, okay. Yeah, you move the doppelganger. Hmm. Definitely wraith forming. I just unload malaise. Don't. Yep. For a split second there, I forgot what unload does. Yep. So we burst blade dance here. Good thing we have a lot of energy. You play this blade down. Glass knife is gonna kill here. Yes, yeah, it's, it's dead. It's definitely dead. An attack potion? No. Bane? Bane isn't bad. No, not yet. 
Oh, the snake plant. The dreaded snake plant. So, bullet time. Dex potion is pointless, though. Oh, we got fairy in a bottle again. Blade dance? Play the double shiv. Play die die die, then play alone. And that's the best defense I can muster. Three. Well, it's dead now, but... And Venom, play dance, after image. Let's play all these. For the time dilation. It's not dead yet. It will be next turn. I, I'm almost sure of it. Yeah, it's dead. Predator is actually not a bad card. Or I could pick up a Bouncing Flask. I mean, as stated before, this deck at this point does not know what it is. I mean, I don't know what this deck is. And we're probably gonna die to the second floor boss if we even reach the second floor boss. So that's another death for me. It seems to be a trend now. Seems to be a thing. Just burst plate dance accuracy, don't we? Yeah, we totally ignore the uh, glass knife. Burst, play dance, accuracy. Yeah, that's a bunch of damage. I, st I strike them like that so I don't have to use an extra strike to kill the uh, front one. Or at the very least, that's what I said to myself. And I say to myself... What a horrible fight. Okay, Thousand Cuts isn't bad here. And we actually got bullet time. So, do I play after image? Yeah, I play after image before, just in case. Thousand Cuts, Blade Dance. I'm gonna get to play one, two, three, four five cards this turn, so it's actually not gonna kill the this gremlin, or this one. Oh no, we hit, wait, we have two on those, so I don't get to play anything. Hmm. Yeah, good thing is, uh, he hasn't chosen to attack yet, and he's actually dead. Can't believe we actually... Really? really Stickle Skull? Okay, well, now we total blur. Uh, now we totally have to reform the deck. So we're going towards uh, the slate. There's a couple of rests in between them as well, so that's kind of nice. That'll allow me to full heal. Shop. Yeah, membership card. Noxious fumes, yes. At this point, this deck is... It has to turn uh, 180. It has to become a poison deck. So... Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> Wraith Form gets out of here. Because of the Noxious Fumes, it's... Actually, why did the Wraith Form get out of there? I did not see a logical a logical thing behind that. Actually, now I'm gonna go for the double rest. Ancient T set? I'm gonna go for this rest. Should be enough. I think. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, Wraith Form still could have been used, so probably shouldn't have hurried with the removal. Okay, we do have a bullet time, but I do want to burst something, hopefully... Yeah, bullet time. Play After Image, play Noxious Fumes. Yes, I am bursting the Blade Dance now. And I'm gonna actually malaise the back one, since I'm gonna be targeting the front one. Three. That's all the attacks I wanted to get in. Because die, die, die now kills it. Uh, blur. And these two should kill. One of them should. There's the Envenom I was looking for. Should be dead, shouldn't it? A single unload will not be enough yet. It will be now. Yeah, it is. 
with the poison application it is. Escape plan. Mm, I mean, it has no drawbacks, you sure. It has no drawbacks. As stated, no drawbacks. Upgrade a card in your deck. Or I can actually rummage because I have no upgraded cards. Like, this will allow me to specifically upgrade a single card, but this, yes, it will give me pain. But on the upside, it will give me the warp thongs that upgrade one random card every turn. So that's uh, actually really a really useful relic now. Like in this run, for example. You see a Phantasmal Killer. When it, uh, whenever you play another card. That's really bad. So, I'm actually not going to play a lot of cards now. Is this the lead fight? Okay, Phantasmal. I just unload and die, 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 don't I? Yeah. Yeah, just unload and die, die, die. Just so I don't take the damage. Perplexing gaze. Oh, there's a two cost deflect for you. And Venom, and that's it. And take 15. Okay. Thousand cuts, after image, malaise, storm steel. I played all those for the thousand cuts at after image. Just an extra block. This is not good. I mean, I could burst the blur. Not going to. I'm just gonna. What am I gonna do? Okay, I guess that's a bit better. Yeah, just play glass knife. There's the Predator I picked up a couple of hours ago. Predator is now 18. So I play Blade Dance again. Yeah, I have Lethal. There it is. A Masterful Stab is always going to cost something. <laughs> this is not a deck that defends itself. Oh boy. Well, you couldn't give me a bullet time in the first turn, really? Okay, so I have to play Noxious Humes. Die, die, die is really good here as well. But I don't have... I mean, I have one defensive card. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drink the Speed Potion, play the Footwork, and play a single Deflect. Then die, die, die. That's the best I can do. That's the best defense I can muster. We have Black Star, so I really do want to fight this sleep. Ah, pain, really? That's not good. I mean, what I can do is I can play Blade Dance. Not play Phantasma, just play a single unload because it's gonna unload the pain. Now I can play the shivs. This is 20... Ah! Should have counted my damage. Should have counted my damage. I didn't count my damage, that's what happened there. Hmm. Yeah, I just burst a blur, don't I? Bur blur was upgraded so I can actually burst a blade dance as well. Now I play after image. Okay, that's enough. No, I actually killed it this turn. I mean, I was fully defended. I could have left to die next turn. Double blood type. Sure. It's dead in a couple turns. It's actually dead now. Tori and the courier? Okay. I might actually take the backstab. And we are gonna go into the collector fight with 43 HP. Should be enough, hopefully. Noxious fumes. I should definitely be playing the deflect. Actually, not gonna play die, die, die here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna phantasmal. Yeah, backstab is 19, so yep. Yeah. 
20. So backstab first. Glass knife and doppelganger. I know I have ice cream, but doppelganger was gonna allow me to draw an extra card. And it gets removed from the deck, so that's fine. Again, with the lack of blood times. I have two of them. I mean, it's a 30 card deck almost, but I have two of them. Hmm. How do I play this? I want to play a thousand cuts, but. I don't have after image, so I mean, regardless of what I do, I'm taking a bunch of damage. Oh, I have Phantasmo. I should not have played the Blade Dance. Oh, no, wait, I didn't have a choice. I have to play one Blade Dance. This is 36 damage, so this one's gonna die to it. Actually, any one of them are gonna die to it. That was a bunch of damage. There goes the perfect. <sighs> Blood time. After image. It's 1 HP damage, so I'm taking the damage. I'm actually dead, ain't I? But good thing I have fairy in a bottle. So yeah, just use everything. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. There's the fairy in a bottle. Okay, so this one's dead. That's really good. It just... Do I blur? I don't need to blow up time. Blur? Alchemize. Which is Ghost in a Jar, which is really useful. Yeah, just save the, the two energy. I didn't need to bullet time there. Would rather save the energy. Hmm. There's the accuracy. And there's the pain, of course. All non-attack cards. So, play the blade dance. Play this, and then just unload as quickly as possible. I prefer to play the shifts there for the extra poison. But it honestly it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm dead. There's absolutely nothing I can do here. Oh no, wait, no I'm not. <laughs> no I'm not. What am I talking about dead? Who is this dead? Who is this dead that we're talking about? Um, yeah, the issue I have here is that... 22... Can I kill the Collector this turn? 24, this is 25, that's 50, that's 81-ish. No. No, I cannot. But what I can do is I can survive this turn. Actually, Die Dida was gonna have to do that for me. Oops. Yeah, I should play them Lays. Might be useful next turn. Or not. Just end. Can't believe we actually survived that. Second and Venom a thousand cuts is way too much. Second burst. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. The Ouroboros Worm. So this is really good. Ring of the Serpent. Replaces Ring of the Snake. At the start of your turn, draw one additional card. That's really good. Especially for something like Bullet Time. I prefer this ring instead of the other one. Okay, so one, two elites. Two elites with no shop. No, actually, I can go for a shop here. Yeah, that might be the way to go. A couple of question marks. I love question marks. Yeah, I'm the guy that says don't bet on randomness. <laughs> and yet I like randomness. Okay, so. Uh, Blade Dance. And I play Blade Dance, don't I? Yeah, I do. I play the shivs. I split the damage. Definitely split the damage. What we do here is... When do we play Die 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 though? After the blur. 
And backstab hits this one. That's 19, I'm 13 defended. Yeah, I'm fine. There's no point in playing the block potion yet. Ugh, the lack of energy that's really getting to me. There's the adrenaline. Had to draw in pain. Now regardless, I have to play these cards. I really need to kill this one. Yep, that's it. Might not have needed the footwork there, but just in case. That's a lot of unloads. Noxious fumes. So, unload on this guy first, then this one. So this one's gonna revive, but this one's gonna revive next turn, so we still have time to kill. No bullet time for the entire game until at the very end of the deck where both of the bullet times are. In a relatively thick deck, I'm getting like, really bad draws when it comes to bullet time. And do I just, like, burst doppelganger? Now I'm playing this. Okay, we finally got a good bolt time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burst the good blade dance. Ah, uh, it overfilled my hand by one. Should have, should have thought about that. Should have thought about that. Phantasmal blade dance. If I actually play Storm of Steel, it's gonna replace all these shivs. No, kill one, kill two. The poison will all go on the back one. So this one dies with nine poison, it goes here, this one dies. Because they die from left to right. Oh, the poison... Okay, so it calculates the poison next turn, not this turn as well. Okay. Okay. Cloak and Dagger, yes. I can't believe we... I still can't believe we survived the Collector fight. I honestly can't. Play after image first, escape plan. Just don't draw into pain, please. Cloak and dagger. We start attacking. I'm splitting the damage there because of die, die, die. And backstab kills the repulsor because these ones are in all likelihood gonna die next turn. Hmm. Are they? Are they really the? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are, trust me. Might actually end up taking a deflect here. I still need a bunch of block cards, which I do not have, and it's a 30 card deck by now, and yes, I'm gonna take this fight even though it's a horrible fight. There's the pain. And I have a lot of cards to play this turn, that's really good, so I might actually avo avoid this fight totally. Nope, not gonna do it. It's not happening, I'm not avoiding this fight. What I can actually do is I can unload now. I'll lose some damage, but I won't take as much HP damage. Backstab gets played last, so backstab's gonna be get played on the back one. No, it's not gonna get played on the front one. Yeah. And that's the most block I can get. What's the boss fight on this floor? Time eater. In a mostly shiv based deck. <laughs> Mostly, I say mostly because at this point we do not know what this deck is. I might actually... Uh... Yeah, I might actually... No, I'm not leaving yet. I think I have a way to kill this one. So, bullet time. Mm, yeah, I'll use the liquid bones. Burst was not upgraded, and I'm gonna burst alchemize now. Not happening. Two smoke bombs. Well, is this one? Yep. At least I'm not taking damage for now. 
Okay, so. Might actually... I don't need to burst the deflect, so I'm just gonna accuracy, deflect, and predator. 18... 60. Predator's actually only a little bit more damage than... Uh, yeah, one more. So there's no point in bursting. Okay, we do not have a burst here. Oh, at least it's not pain. No, I'm happy about that. So just play Adrenaline last, shouldn't I? They dance, the fuck? I didn't play Noxious Fumes there because I have to kill soon, like really soon. Playing Noxious Fumes is... Really? How many burns are you gonna draw? Now I'm playing Noxious Fumes. So the real question is, do I take tool damage? Yes, I suppose. <sighs> yeah, I take the damage. Really? Do I have to use a smoke bomb now? Otherwise I'm dead. Oh, that was a... Uh, that was an interesting fight. That was not worth it. Lose burst in Venom or unload. Yeah, sure. One unload's fine. And now we're gonna go for the Elite fight. Which will in all likelihood finish us. Yeah, but it looks things might. Good thing is, at the very least, Venom got upgraded, so it's cheap to play. And Venom. This is not gonna do enough damage to actually kill any one of these, so I'm actually gonna backstab the back one. Just guarantee it dies. At least one of them dies. You know? Ooh wee! Oh boy. I don't know what, where pain is. It's in my hand. Yeah, it's in my hand. Okay, escape plan. Adrenaline. I have a single unload now. Uh, well, this, uh, this, this, this thing could, uh, it could potentially uh, self kill me, suicide me. Let's begin. Yes, if you're wondering, I am planning on playing all the cards. Oh, the accuracy, I forgot about the accuracy. That's a lot of HP I'm losing. Come on, last one. Last one. Yeah. Yes, I know I could have played Storm of Steel to remove the pain. But that was not going to be as much damage as this was. I'm dead. I think I might have to use a smoke bomb again. No, actually, Burst is upgraded. I'm not dead. Thousand cuts, blur deflect, yeah. I'm not dead, right? Yeah, I'm definitely not dead. Oh boy. And I even have some block left over. A surprise, surprise! Oh, burst malaise. This is just so that I can get the extra one damage from uh, from Thousand Cuts. Doppelganger. I still have to invest on in unload. This is a slow fight. It's a really slow fight. This is one of the slowest fights I've had in a very long time. If I burst glass knife here is 24, 26. Wait a minute, I can't burst glass knife. What am I talking about? Burst, blur, deflect. Oh, I'm gonna suicide, ain't I? Um, yeah. It's because of the burst. Well, I cannot play any more cards this turn. So, uh, 
Yeah, there's that. Okay, it's finally over. This this horror is finally over. Oh boy. Add a shift. Yeah, sure. I mean, this deck doesn't know what it is. I don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. It, just just go. Just go from there. Finally. You know, pain needs to get removed. And now we're taking Letter Opener, we're taking Gremlin Horn, we're taking Ninja Scroll, we're taking Medical Kit because I really do like Medical Kit. Lantern's gonna be really useful. So is Preserved Insect, Whetstone, and Anchor or Happy Flower. Probably Happy Flower. Right? 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 Yeah, right. That's, that's it. We have almost 25 relics. We are gonna go towards the next relay. Can we actually go towards the next relay? Mm, yeah, from here. Mercury Hourglass. Don't say I don't enjoy it. Okay, and Venom's a really good pickup in the very beginning. Really, Rip Thong's upgraded Shiv. I can actually use everything. 25, 22, yeah, so we use backstab last in this case. Oh, well, that, that's the most damage we can do, and that's... Uh... Yeah, the problem is turns like these, where I cannot do damage, but he can do damage to me. So, blood time, noxious fumes, thousand cuts, accuracy, and we burst the blur. And I actually have to use Ghost and Jar, don't I? Yep. Because I'm a bit block I'm a bit of block short. So hopefully I can kill this turn. Hopefully. I don't have a pain anymore, so I can actually bullet time after I drill him. Yep. Okay, I can kill this turn. I believe I can kill this turn. Let's alchemize first before I kill. Okay, it's not bad. Runic Dodecahedron, blue cat. I got blue candle after I removed the curse, really? So am I going to the shop? Yeah, why not? I can buy a pentagraph or a bag of marbles. Bag of marbles is actually not bad. I mean, I have no way of applying vulnerability, so I'm actually gonna buy it. And I might actually buy an entropic groove instead of a smoke push. Ah, oh, the strength potion just showing up. Ugh. Rest. I wanted to go towards the rest, so. Okay, well, at the very least, I got Noxious Humes this, this turn. Noxious Humes, Infinite Blades. Now, the real question is, do I spread out my damage? No, I do not. Not yet, at least. Back one's gonna die. Actually, both of them died. That's really nice. So, I can probably kill next turn. Mm, yep. Yeah. An energy potion? No, not gonna need it. I might actually pick up the deadly poison here. Yeah, why not? At this point, this deck doesn't know what it, what it wants to be, so... Surviving the time eater is gonna be fun. I mean, we survived the collector, I mean... Yeah, we'll see. At this point, this is a challenge without the daily challenge uh, modifiers. On top of the daily challenge modifiers, I'd like to say. If you're asking yourself why that is... Um... The challenge is, you have a random deck of 30 cards, like, totally random. It wants to be a lot of things, and you have no bonuses. You can't even submit at rest sites, you know, you just have a bunch of gold. Challenges survive. Can you survive? Oh, probably should have used the potion there. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to kill. It's not gonna happen, is it? Actually, it might. Look at the damage. Ooh, that was a lot. That was a first turn and a lot of damage. That was 270 damage almost. 
Let's actually burst deadly poison here. That's 16, so that's fine. Phantasmal Killer would have been nice here. So he's gonna do 11. And he's just gonna blur. Take as little damage as possible. Come on, blood time. Yeah, blood time. It's a blood time. <laughs> that was a, yeah, we're still trying to kill. The after image. We burst the cloak and dagger. We start playing a bunch of shivs. Uh, then we play... Unload is actually more damage, so we play Predator first, then Unload. And this was still not even close to the 270 first turn. I guess Bag of Marbles really helped out. Good thing I didn't play Invidum first. Okay, yeah, even Malaise, it's fine. Doppelganger. Shiv for 15 damage and then Predator. Ugh. Time Eater is gonna really destroy us. He really is. Yep, I'm taking no damage. Poison. Just, just remember the poison. So we couldn't kill it. Strength Potion is really good. Uh, I'm gonna take it over a Fire Potion. Second Cloak and Dagger. Oh boy. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> cloak and Dagger is really good. But versus the Time Eater, it's, uh, it's not as good. Okay, so we're playing Strength Potion. Can I defend the first turn? No. So I'm playing Lock Potion, the Entropy Brew. Sure, get a Power Potion. I'm, I'm fine with a Power Potion. Might actually get an extra Venom. Just get one up out early. Just get as much poison as you can. I don't have a Catalyst, but it should be fine, I hope. I can actually play everything without Blood Time. Let's first count the cards though. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 with the Blood Time. So I'm actually gonna play 9 without the Blood Time. Backstab is the same damage as uh, Predator. So we play them both. That was a lot of damage. It's not enough to kill, but it, it was a lot of damage. So is he attacking? Yep, he's attacking. I mean, I can malaise this turn for 5 or 6, so he's gonna do a little damage. And then I just play my... Three cards. I should get a Noxious Fumes up though. That's 10, 11, 12. Yep, we're fine. I play the Shiv because I don't want it to go back in the deck. Alright. Um. Alright. The thing disconnected from charging. I was wondering why I heard this strange noise. I was like, what the fuck happened? Did my did my mouse just disconnect or something? Did my keyboard disconnect or something? Like, what, what happened? Yeah, I was charging something on the computer via USB cable. It's not a phone, That that's all I have to say. I'm not gonna say what it is, but it's not a phone. Hmm, thousand cuts? I mean, uh, are we? Oh boy. Probably should have planned a bit better. This is gonna take him below half. I pr it's, it, it is probably time to take him below half. I cannot do 200 in a single turn, but at the very least now I can use both the fear potions. Okay, he is going below half now. I'm actually just going to alchemize and pass the turn. Yep, that's it. He's going to heal. Okay, he healed. Um, that's all you're going to lucky draw. Okay, I can play 3-4 cards, right? 
four cards. Four cards. One, two, three. One more after this. That's it. That's all I can play. Okay, this turn I can play a lot of cards, so it's time to use the Serra Potion. So, accuracy, I suppose? Blade Dance. What am I using for one? I guess nothing. Um, not only did this deck survive, it actually had a relatively easy time beating the time meter, which is really weird. Uh, we did a pitiful amount of damage. A very pitiful amount of damage. And there was a very long run. Very long day. Oh uh, my, it's like, but yeah. I was assuming 500, yeah. So my name has been Rapid Mystic. This episode has been really long and really tedious to do. I don't know, this, this, it, it's, uh, this runs like these that are not fun for me, I don't know. They just aren't because there, there's no, like, structure to them. I don't like the deck to be way too fat without a good reason. Ugh, it's just, it's me, it's not you, it's me, it's not the game, it's, it's me. Anyway, my name's been Rapid Mystic. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Slate Aspire, this very long episode of Slate Aspire, and I hope to see y'all in the next one.